let's do a video update for those that follow me through video and other means, but yeah. I need to work on a blog post update, and I just wanted to do a video update for those that follow me on video. So, I went to the East Coast on Monday and Tuesday, and went and did my medical screening for my upcoming surrogacy adventure, and it all went really well. Um, it was great meeting my intended parents in person. And we just all click, get along very well. So it was great to meet them, to hang out with them, to connect even more with them, to find out that we have similar views. Just there's so many things that we get along with. It's, it's great. It's really all more than I could ask for because to me personally, and everyone's different, the relationship aspect of the journey is just really, I guess, important to me. But it's also just one of the coolest things, one of the most unique experiences is getting to know someone that was at one time a stranger that you are now going to... I mean, there's just no way to not have some sort of an intimate journey when you're carrying a baby for someone, you know. Um, there's obviously different levels of what that means to people, and you can take it out of context and you're stupid for doing it, but um, just the relationship is very unique, and the best way I can explain it is even though we were meeting for the first time, once that initial meeting happened, it felt like we'd always known each other. It didn't feel like we were talking to someone that we had just met. And obviously we've talked before and gotten to know each other. So it's not like we just met, but we just met in person. But it feels deeper than that. It feels like we're close friends, family. It's so very hard to explain unless you've been through it, but it's just amazing. Um, a lot of care for each other, I guess, and respect for each other, and we just both feel like we're lucky to have found each other. But it's it's also great that, you know, um, we all get along. My husband with the intended father, the intended father with me, my husband with the intended mother, the intended mother with me, all of the above. That's what I'm trying to say. All of the above. It's just great that we have such a great relationship that we can just talk about anything, you know, um, be ourselves and they have a sense of humor, which is awesome. So we just have fun together and that is really cool, um, to be yourselves, to be accepted and to have fun. So we're all excited. It's going to be great. I got interrupted because apparently Costco was calling and I won like some $500 something or other. I don't know. I guess I missed out because, you know, I hung up. Anyway, so yeah, I had to go to the appointment with a full bladder. Um, I thought I had drank enough, and I didn't, so I had to keep drinking and then just kind of sit and wait for my bladder to fill up a little bit more so that they could do a mock or a trial transfer. Um, so basically, here's my instructions. And... Yeah, just needed to fill it, fill it, fill it so it was full. It just helps everything be in a good position and straightens things out. So that was fun. <laughs> the whole point of the mock transfer is to um, make sure that the actual transfer is going to go well, which they didn't see any issues. Um, and it just helps to know the positioning like of the uterus, um, I believe even like how far the catheter needs to be inserted, something to that effect. Um, they did a couple e evaluations <laughs> and um, there was a small fibroid in my uterus but there wasn't anything concerning about it and it wasn't in a place that will interfere with the transfer. So we have the green light to go ahead and move forward. Um, we have a transfer date of September 4th 
and I will start medications, um, even though I'm already on the active birth control, I will start injections, uh, shots, with the Lupron on April 5th, coming up soon, today's July 25th. So when we do the actual transfer, it should be easy peasy, like they should be able to do it with their eyes closed. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so it all went well. Um, it was funny, we were kind of up, down, up, down, like their clinic has an upstairs part, I guess the lab is in one or the other so anyway we were told to start upstairs but when we got there no one was there the door was locked I mean we knocked on the door and someone opened it we signed in and then found out we were supposed to start downstairs and then go upstairs we ended up seriously like being sent up and down and up and down and up and down and then um they actually forgot to do my blood work and since you know this isn't my first rodeo I was like do I need to get blood done? And yeah, I did. So they had to send me back down. I don't even remember if that was up or down. <laughs> but everyone was really cool, really nice. I really liked the clinic. I really liked the doctor. And I guess the clinic is really picky. So the fact that they chose me and thought I looked great and that I was a great candidate just really makes me feel good, feel lucky, feel special. Because some clinics... Are picky but they're so picky that they wouldn't want to use me because I've been pregnant so many times or because I did have those miscarriages with um, two separate couples um, with one couple I had two chemical pregnancies and a miscarriage and some clinics kind of want to blame you for that when it's usually embryo quality or something there's really only so much we can do as a surrogate, you know, we can follow all the instructions and everything, but ultimately it's not up to us if it's going to work or not. So some things are just out of our control, and even if we follow things to a T, things can go wrong. We do feel good about um, our journey because they have tested embryos. Um, that doesn't always guarantee anything. This clinic but has high success rates. Um, I've been pregnant more times than I have not been pregnant, so the combination is pretty good. I think we have a really good chance, and we all feel good about it, so if you want to send us all your positive vibes and everything, that would be awesome. Every little bit helps, right? My intended parents had a surrogate before me that did, just didn't quite work out, um, so they were very excited that things were looking good. And, um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of getting emotional, I guess. Um, my intended mom was just like, you could just see it. She was just like glowing with happiness and she kept asking questions and she was like, so how soon would, you know, would you test if the transfer date is this date and how soon, um, like, yeah, how soon would we know and how, when would the, um, due date be and she kept apologizing and I was just like no you know give her a hug like it's okay it was just so sweet um the due date would be May 23rd and I was like wait did you say 23 she also asked if I would do a 4D ultrasound and I was like sure you know why not I'm excited to see this happen for them and anyway um Back to the whole one, two, three thing. I mentioned it in my last video that I've been seeing one, two, three a lot lately. And so the due date's May 23rd, which there's the 23 part. I was wondering, you know, well, hey, maybe it'll work on the first time. So there's the one. Or it's the first time I've been to this clinic, but it's the first time I was at, at each clinic. Um, first time that the doctor is female at this clinic. So that's a first. My intended mom felt really bad when she found out that I get morning sickness. And I'm like, you know, it just kind of comes with the territory. It's all right. She's like, well, how for how long, you know? It might be five, six months, but I'll live, you know. It's not like that bad. Kind of nauseous throughout, but, you know, I still enjoy being pregnant and it's all worth it. It's just you do what you got to do, so it's okay. I was so excited. This came up in conversation. We were talking deliveries. 
I was talking about my last delivery and how I nursed in the hospital, pumped, and was actually able to bring her breast milk when she was six months old on a visit. And they asked me to nurse the baby and um, pump for like a month or two. I was so excited. I thought that was awesome. I didn't know how they felt about it. So for them to kind of bring it up and ask me, I was just like, yay, that's awesome, of course. So remember how I had to do like a bunch of running around trying to find a lab to do my progesterone order to check my levels because I was having the bleeding on the pills. I remember to ask about that because I never heard back and everything came back fine. So um, the pills are doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is great. I just had some stupid breakthrough bleeding. It has subsided. So woo. Um, no problem. Uh, so just... I guess back to the visit, um, the IPs took us out to dinner the first night and out to lunch the next day. Oh my gosh, the food both times was just absolutely amazing, delicious. I was stuffed. They <laughs> strongly encouraged us to get dessert both times and it was like, I can get used to this, but no, it was fun and it was great. The first night, um, they were so excited and my IM was like, we need to celebrate. So she said, let's get some mango mimosas. And I, I'm not mimosas, martinis. And I was like, sure, okay. And they were pretty good. Um, and it was just fun being with them, spending time with them. And I'm excited that we have a date for the transfer, that everything looked good, nothing's holding us back. Um, so next step are contracts, which should be really quick. They're already kind of pre-set up. So it's just kind of maybe fill in a few blanks, look them over, sign them, and they should be done pretty quickly. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, on one of the flights, um, we ended up sitting by a lady with a baby and my husband was like, Hey, maybe that's a sign. I think I figured out a nickname for my IPs so that when I talk, about them. It's not just generic intended father, intended mother. I think it's going to be Big Papa and Little Mama. Back to the clinics, being picky and all that. For a while, I thought, maybe I'm done. Maybe I'm not going to be a surrogate anymore. Maybe it's just too hard to find a clinic that'll work with me. But, you know, I wasn't looking for a while, and then something caught my eye, drew me to this clinic, which led to this match, and they went through what they went through. They had an agency that wasn't the greatest and moved on to the agency that they're with found each other. And it really seems like the perfect match. So we feel like everything was meant to happen this way and that we were meant to find each other. Your safety is important to us.